Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we are going to be doing the team building guide for the AGL Transforming Goku EZA. Now unfortunately the wiki is not updated with this information yet at the time of recording. Uh, with this celebration and stuff coming out at the same time on both versions, um, it has been a little bit slow to update. So, kind of like the Freezer one, we are going to go through the top picks and honourable mentions. Uh, and, you know, it may turn out that a certain typing gets damage reduction and therefore isn't the best to use. But I will update the video with a pinned comment if that happens. So, we know from the missions from the data download that we are going to be using the Sworn Enemies category. So, obviously the new Freezer category. This makes perfect sense. We assumed it was going to be this since the Freezer one used the Legendary Existence as the weakness. So, it was pretty obvious that that was going to be the case. But then, yeah, the missions from the data download confirmed that that will be the case. So... Like I said, we don't know which typing is going to get damage reduction. I think it's pretty safe to say that AGL and INT are going to be usable because they never really cancel out the main leader for that team, right? And if you didn't pull the LR Freezer, the only leader for that category then is the third form Freezer. So it makes sense that INT and AGL are going to be usable. STR you're obviously not going to want to use anyway because he is an AGL enemy. So that leaves tech for the type advantage and then physical. So <clears throat> I do think it's likely that physical will be the one to get the nerf. But we will talk about a couple of physical units just in case. So obviously first up we have the LR Freezer. We don't really need to say a huge amount about him. Um, if you've already done the Freezer one and you use the Goku. Even if you just use the Goku friend. Uh, this guy is going to absolutely annihilate this event. He gets guaranteed crits against Goku. So for the first probably like 15 stages maybe. Maybe even higher. He's probably just going to one shot him. Or if you got attacked in slot one. He gets the guaranteed extra super. Those two supers are going to be enough. So even if you didn't pull Freezer. Obviously you want to be bringing him as a friend. And he will be doing most of the hard work throughout the entire stage. So... Don't really need to say anything else. You can finish him off with the active skill as well when he gets below 30% HP for a nice touch for the finish. But yeah, obviously Freezer is the best leader. And then we have the third form Freezer. Obviously he'll be your stand-in leader if you don't have the LR. And then even if you have the LR, you just bring this guy anyway because he's supporting the category 3 key 40% attack and defense. As well as being very, very good himself. Once his passive is fully built up, his stats are very decent. He can launch multiple supers in one turn and each one raises his defense for the duration of that turn. So he can be very tanky and yeah. Good for support regardless of who you bring and obviously the best stand-in leader. So then we have the LR Cell. Um, obviously Tech LR Cell, I don't know, he probably does, he's probably at a point now where he does kind of need an easy A. But in an easy A event like this where he's got type advantage and is in the right category, he's obviously going to be very useful. Uh, he does heal on his 12 key super. So in the later stages, if you are struggling a little bit, you can deliberately go for his 12 key in order to get some healing. Which is always nice in an easy A since you can't use any items. So then up we have the um, Int LR Cell. Because like I say, I don't think Int is going to get the damage reduction here. So he's going to be very good as well. He gets underrated quite a lot, but he's a pretty strong unit. And obviously if you do get unfortunate and take a lot of attacks, drop below 30% HP. He then gets the transformation into Perfect Cell, gives you a full heal. And then obviously becomes much more powerful after that as well. So he definitely can be very useful. Could definitely save you from some uh, bad RNG moments where you take a big super attack early on. And then yeah, he's going to be able to dish out a lot of power. As well as having the cell links. So if you are bringing other cell units, then obviously they're going to fit in well together. Uh, then we have the... Boot tanks. So like I said at the beginning, I do think physical is potentially the one that's going to get a damage nerf. So maybe you won't be able to use him. But even so, he's very strong defensively if you are lacking other options. And yeah, as long as he's not getting the damage reduction, he is going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. He also heals at the start of the turn. So again, even if he's, you're not bringing him for the damage, he's got good defense and he's got healing. So he can help you out if you need to fill that final slot on the team, even if physical is getting the... Uh, big damage reduction in this event so next up we have uh, the freezer himself so obviously if you've already done the easy a for this freezer he's going to be an absolute beast he's going to be right behind the lr freezer in terms of probably which unit is dealing the most damage in this event because after his easy a he's very powerful he's in the category he's got type advantage like he will absolutely shred 
this AGL Goku and be very powerful. Obviously, EZAs are not super long, so you're not going to see him transform up through all of his forms, but he's just not going to need to because... Goku's going to be dead, and that's the whole point. So, yeah, this Frieza, fully easy aid, is obviously going to be very, very good in this event. So, next up, we have Golden Frieza. I included the Tech one and the AGL one because, you know, neither of those typings should get damage reduction. But even if they do, you're only really bringing Golden Frieza for defense. Um, he's just a unit that you can very safely park in the slot where there are the most attacks and you don't have to worry about him taking any damage. The tech one is obviously going to be better overall because he's better offensively than the AGL one and he's going to have type advantage. So obviously he's going to be not only very strong defensively but he is actually going to be able to do decent damage as well. So he's a very strong option. Of course with the same name update you can always bring both and then just have these guys on one on each rotation absorbing the most of the attacks so you don't have to worry about taking a ton of damage so both of these guys very very useful on the team uh, next we have the tech exchange boo so i know he gets memed on a lot but i mean he's in the category he's got type advantage if you're bringing any other boo units then obviously you do want other units that have like margin and stuff like that for him to link up with so he can be useful uh, you'll probably get the evil boo transformation but you'll probably never see the super boo one uh, Evil Boo is okay, has a bit of damage reduction and uh, built-in chance to dodge, so he definitely can be useful. He's not going to be the best unit on the team by any chance, but he's still a useful unit to bring. Next up, we have the Tech Perfect Cell. So he's an old one, but he's still fairly decent with his EZA. This is the kind of event where he still will have a lot of relevancy because he's in the right category. He's got type advantage. Um, he can build up a pretty decent stat. Uh, numbers when you're getting a lot of orbs he recovers hp on super attack which again as i said anything that you can use to recover hp in an event where you can't use items is going to be very useful and of course he links up well with the other cells if you have brought like the in lr cell or someone like that then obviously that rotation is going to be very powerful with all of the links that they share so this guy definitely going to be very good I haven't used him in an event in quite a while but he's definitely going to be good in this easy a so then we have the uh 50 support for extreme tech the second form cell obviously this guy is kind of only really here if you are bringing a lot of tech units if you're not bringing a lot of tech units i don't think he's really strong enough on his own to merit bringing him on the team especially if like me you don't have him with any dupes because then he's not the best defensive unit obviously type advantage is going to help him out a little bit but you want to make sure you're getting a lot of orbs so he gets a decent amount of defense because you're not going to be able to lower Goku's attack in the later stages. So he can be useful if you're bringing a whole bunch of tech units like him on the same rotation with like the uh, tech perfect cell or like the LR prime battle cell. Like They're going to be able to deal a lot of damage thanks to this guy being around. So he's worth bringing depending on how you have structured the rest of your team. Uh, next up we have this int freezer so again i don't think int's going to get the debuff but even if it does which i think is unlikely because of the third form freezer but you just bring this guy to be a tank he guards all attacks when there's a goku family enemy he has 50 percent damage reduction he's got fairly decent stats and he is providing two key and 20 percent attack and defense to everyone else on the team because this event is against goku this is the absolute perfect event to bring this guy even without him suffering from damage um, reduction in an event he doesn't really do a lot of damage anyway he's just there to be a very good defensive unit and if you have your rotation set up with some very powerful rotations of like say golden freezer and the new freezer maybe you're running tech cell with in lr cell this guy can work perfectly fine as a support unit because with the goku enemy he offers support whilst also still having that ridiculously good defensive capability so he can be a third slot floating unit that you don't have to worry about getting you killed so he's very good to bring as well Next up, we have the Int Kid Boo. So I thought he would be worth mentioning because we have talked about some other Boo units. Obviously, Int Kid Boo does give you a nice 12% heal on super attack. Post EZA, he does do a lot of damage. He also does offer some support to margin power allies. And when you're above 70% HP, he gives one key to just all extreme allies. And the team is mostly going to be extreme. So he's obviously going to be very, very strong. Um, I believe super types will get a debuff because I'm pretty sure extreme types got a debuff against Freezer. So you are going to mostly want to bring extreme units anyway. So this guy could be giving them a little bit of extra key. It's not a huge buff, really, like one key, but... It's still good. Might help some of your LRs get to that 18 key super. And then again, he heals on super attack. 
He raises attack and defense for one turn, so a good build for him has always been additionals because of his heal. So if he doubles supers, you get a massive heal, and he also will have very good defense. So he is a solid option as well. Next up, we have the physical Angel Freezer. So again, this one kind of hinges on whether or not physical is going to get the damage debuff. If physical does get the debuff, this Freezer is good defensively, but I don't think he would necessarily be worth bringing. Uh, once he takes the first attack, he has a chance to dodge, but because you could transform him straight away, I feel like in an easy A event like this where it's quite a short um, quite a short event, you probably just want to transform him straight away and just start dealing big damage because he's going to link up nicely with the other Freezer units and uh, be able to offer a lot of damage, but obviously only if physical units are going to be viable. And then the last unit I wanted to mention was good old physical Kid Buu. Um, his defense isn't the best, so you do have to be careful about him taking hits. But he's just here for that 50% buff. Even if physical units do get the damage debuff, he was never going to do crazy damage anyway. He's just here to give 50% support to everyone on the team. So those are the top picks and honorable mentions. If we have a look back at the Sworn Enemies category, I mean, Demon King Piccolo is a solid unit. He doesn't have a lot of good link partner options, though, on this team because it's not really advisable to bring STR Demon King Piccolo. Uh, obviously, STR units in general are just kind of out completely. Uh, we don't have this awakening on global, but if you are on JP, then obviously this cell is a really good support unit for this team as well, because he supports extreme allies in general. So to be honest, he probably is a top pick, but obviously he's only available on JP. So if you're watching this as a JP player, this guy definitely, I would say almost is an auto include on the team if you have him. But unfortunately, he isn't available on global, so can't include him there for us, which is a bit of a shame. Um... This Angel Freezer is okay, but not that great. Um, same for this Boo. Like, he really needs an easy A. Buff Boo's pretty good, actually, and links up very well with Kid Boo units. So if you are going to run, say, Int Kid Boo, the rotation of them together can be really good. A um, couple of other Int units. I mean, the Int Freezer, uh, Angel Golden Freezer is okay, just not good defensively. Int Golden Freezer is good, but compared to the other two, he is better in longer form events because he needs to build up. Buhan could be okay as well, but you can't lower attack, so even with his EZA, he's starting to show his age a little bit defensively. And then, yeah, I think physical units are very likely to not be a huge amount of use other than the ones we mentioned. If you are able to use physical units, obviously, if you're bringing a bunch of them, you've got the 50% support, and this fat boo is pretty good as well. So I don't think we've really missed over anyone. Uh, you should be able to make a pretty solid team out of those. Obviously, if you are missing a sworn enemy's leader, uh, this tech Freezer is definitely the next best bet for your lead. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to get a bit creative. Uh, like, for example, you could use this guy for artificial life forms and margin power, and that's going to allow you to bring a bunch of the cells and other such units. But you want to try and build a team that's going to allow you to bring a friend Freezer, especially if you don't have him, because he is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So let me know what you guys think down below. As always, if there's any units that I missed out or didn't talk about enough, let me know down below in the comments, and we can continue the discussion there. Let us know what your team builds are going to be and yeah good luck with the easy a i'll be going live first thing when all the events come out which i believe is 7 a.m my time or like i think is it 10 p.m pst in the u.s so keep an eye out it will be scheduled up on the channel but i will be live when this comes out to go through the event and check out all the new stuff as well so maybe i will see you then so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master again smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one